Today we are diving into a crucial aspect that often gets overlooked the importance of periodically cleaning your washer many of us diligently wash our clothes without realizing that the washer itself requires regular cleaning to function optimally over time dirt grime and detergent residue accumulates in various parts of the machine leading to potential issues such as foul odor mold growth and even reduce cleaning efficiency let's get started and welcome to mg factor in step 1 take 2 cups of plain baking soda directly into your washer this works for front loading he washer as well as top loading washer once done shut the door and run your washer cycle on the hottest and longest that you can or use tub cleaner option and let the baking soda do the cleaning the baking soda is going to act as scrubber and is going to help remove any bad odor that might have built up over the time once your previous cycle is complete let's move to step number 2 in this step take any plain white vinegar totally of your choice and pour 2 cups you can add any essential oil i generally use lavender but it could be any essential oil which you can mix into the mixture and again open your washer and you pour the mixture in the bottom of the tub now close it and again run it on the longest and the hottest cycle that you have and let it clean this mixture will help to disinfect your washer now moving on to the tips there are other tips that i can think of which can elevate your washer experience let's see the tip number 1 leave the door open after each cycle or when not in use This way you prevent moisture build up and let all the moisture evaporate. Let's move on to step number 2 which is cleaning your dispenser tray. Here is your dispenser tray which is located on the top. Now press and release the tray. You can see how dirty it is. This has been built up over the time. You can use a soapy water and an old toothbrush to clean all the dirt and grime. We took some time to clean our washer. The dispenser tray is clean as well as you can see here. And then gently put it back into the slot and it will click automatically looks good right a moving on to tip number 3 on the front load washer always check the rubber seal we use hot water and a brush to scrub and clean Let's move to tip number 4. If you have a filter, usually those are located at the bottom of your washer. Remove it and make sure to clean every 6 months. You will see lot of grime accumulated over time. That could lead to bacteria growth. In the next chart, you can see the steps to follow to clean your filter. last but not the least clean the glass with any household cleaner
so that's it we have a clean and happy washer ready for next use it costs nothing you have all the products at home let me know in the comment if you have ever cleaned your washer until next time stay safe and stay healthy and do not forget to subscribe and like the channel thank you